what's up? My name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be talking about how you can import your current save from your vRising game into your vRising dedicated server. Of course, this video assumes you already have a vRising dedicated server, whether you're hosting it or you're paying a company to do so for you. If you'd like to set up your own free vRising dedicated server, in the description down below, you'll find a video showing you exactly how to do it. And then you'll end up with some files that look like this. For servers on websites you're paying for, the process may be a little bit different. So inside of our dedicated server here, which quick refresher we can get to by right-clicking vRising dedicated server, manage and browse local files, we'll be heading into the save data folder, then saves, v1, followed by your world name. Inside of here, we'll find session ID and a bunch of other files. What we'll need to do is delete all of these auto save folders, or of course, back them up if you'd ever like to return here. Just make sure that you don't delete session ID.json. Inside of here, it contains a unique identifier, which you won't be able to guess. Now let's navigate across to where our current save game is from our single player V Rising game, or of course, whatever if you host it with friends. We need to get to the save files. Hold start, press R at the same time, and inside of here, type in percentage app data percentage, and we'll hit OK. Then you should see a bunch of files like this. If you don't, you'll need to make sure that hidden files are shown on your computer. On Windows 10, at the very top, you'll see a view button. Click that and make sure hidden files is ticked. On Windows 11, click see more, options, and inside of here, view. Then make sure hidden files and folders is set to show. And for good practice, hide extensions for known file types should be turned off. There we go. Now we'll head back a folder and into local low. Inside of here, I'll click anywhere and type S to jump straight down to S and we'll open Stunlock Studios. Then V Rising, Saves, V1, and inside of here, we have an ID. If you have multiple folders here, you can open them up, open the server host settings file, and you'll see the name of the world at the very top here. Super simple. When we know that we have the correct one, copy these save files, these folders from our current single player version all the way across to the folder on our server here. Server, save data, saves v1, world1, or whatever the name is, will delete all of the folders here, if any, and paste in the folders that we're copying. Then we'll head back to the vRising dedicated server folder, then vRising server data, streaming assets, settings, and inside of here, we can copy and place these server game settings and server host settings files in here, replace, and our server should then be updated to use our save game. We can open a server host settings to change the max number of connected players, set a server password, etc. save and close out of that. I know in the previous video I mentioned putting these files elsewhere, but this is the best way to do it, just leaving them in here. The other place doesn't seem to do anything anyways. Anyway, now that we've copied across our save data and copied across those two files, we're able to start up our server itself and tab into vRising. From here, I'll go play, online play, find servers in the bottom left, display all servers and settings at the very top, direct connect at the very bottom, 127.0.0.1 and connect. Now we're connecting to our server. I'll enter the password from the file, in my case, 123. And now we're loading in and very shortly, you should see that when we do load in, we'll have all of our items, etc., etc. Absolutely nothing has changed, and neither will anything have changed for our friends. The only thing that has changed is once I close this game here, the server will remain running and our friends can keep playing as long as we keep this window open, the server window. Just make absolutely sure that this is closed while we're doing the whole process, otherwise the process may not work. If you find out that things haven't copied properly, you're missing items, etc., just make sure to come back into Save Data Saves, V1, the world name, delete these folders here with the server closed, copy in your current ones, and start up the server once again. That way, everything's copied across. All player files, player data, etc., are stored in these files inside of this folder. Everything is saved on your computer. You don't need to worry about everything else. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!